Hi everyone, I'm Alfred and it's me, Askyla and Sean and we are from the Faith Community of St. Anne's. So, Advent, that's what we're talking about, right? Right! What do you usually decorate your homes with during Advent? Uh, Christmas trees and nativity scenes. No, that's not right. That is for Christmas. We wrap our homes with an Advent wreath. Oh, I've heard about it before, but I thought it was only done in church. From what I know is that it has a symbolic meaning in our faith. Yeah, indeed, they are very symbolic. Do you know that they are traditionally made with evergreen branches, which are which have four candles and are a symbol of and reminder of continuous life? Oh, I see. Well, did you know that a circle shape reinforces that meaning? Yes, I remember now. Someone told me that it's also a sign of everlasting life. That's right. So, what are the candles for and why are they different colours? So the three purple candles are reminders that this should be a time of prayer and sacrifice to prepare us for the coming of Christ at Christmas. Each candle takes on the themes of hope, peace, joy and love. On the third Sunday, the pink candle is lit to announce God that this Sunday, the Sunday of rejoicing for Christ's coming is near. With the lighting of the candles, it also signifies that the light has fallen over the darkness. Oh, that's so cool! But when did this tradition start? If I'm right, the Advent wreath originated from a pagan Arabian tradition which consisted of lighting candles during the winter as the sun god to return with his light and warmth. Yeah, actually that's right. The first missionaries actually took advantage of this tradition to evangelize the people and taught them that they should use the Advent wreath as a way to prepare for Christ's birth at Christmas and to celebrate his nativity, asking him to infuse light into their souls. Oh, I just read that the green colour of the wreath represents hope and life. The Advent wreath reminds us that Christ is alive among us and that we must cultivate a life of grace, spiritual growth and hope during the season of Advent. Oh, you get this off the internet? Yes! Wow, that's, that's a truly amazing thing. Advent Reef serves as a powerful visual reminder of the holiness of the season. The light of the candles invites us to quiet ourselves during this busy time and reflect on the true meaning of Christmas. Yes, and whether at home or in church, it provides us with an invitation to wait and to pray in hopeful anticipation for the coming of Christ. And we are also called to welcome the light of Christ into our lives. You know what? How about we make one? Does anyone know how to? Let me search. Ah, I know. Come on, follow me and I'll show you. So first, if you want to make a child-friendly advent wreath, here are the materials that you need. Double-sided tape, glue stick, scissors, green paper to make leaf cutouts, candle cutouts of the four advent candles, and a paper plate. First, you want to stick double-sided tape to the bottom of the cutout of the advent candles and then stick it onto the middle of the paper plate. Draw leaf shapes on your green papers and cut them out. Once you are done, you can stick it on the plate around the candles like I did here. And that's it! You're done! Next, to make the advent wreath, these are the materials that you need a hot glue gun, a base to put your advent wreath on, a wreath, some acorns, decorative flowers, and the four advent candles. The first step is to glue the wreath down to the base. Next, you want to stick the flowers and the acorns onto the wreath. And don't forget the advent candles, three purple and one rose. And now you are ready for the season of advent. Yay! Wow, it sounds easy, but what if I have no time to make? Then you can purchase wine from the Sedan's bookshop outside. But in the spirit of Advent, still try to make one at home. You can make it with your family too. Yes, and I think you, it can and will be a fun family project. With that, we want to wish all of you a blessed, blessed Advent.